Hey everyone, this is Judy with JLB Crafts. Welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, thank you so much for giving me a try. This is take two on starting my dashboard social media planner spread for the week of April 5th through the 11th. Um, I got about eight or nine minutes into the last one and my uh, camera completely fried and it lost the file, so I don't know what's going on there. Um, anyway, these pages are actually from the, um, the dashboard planner that was at Walmart for 2021. Um, and I, I picked them specifically because they do have this really bright color. I'm going to use the um, Planners Anonymous Rainy Days kit for this one, which has that beautiful teal. And I do like to use the box. I could not handle an entire month with this color on it. But when it coincides with what I'm doing, I do like to use it. Um, so the Rainy Days kit has all these fun papers in it. Um, and I, I have leftover pieces, several leftover pieces, including a piece this size of this one um, from when I made my covers. And these are the covers that are actually on my planner right now. If you watched my move-in video, which I will link in the um, cards up above, you'll see these covers are on my planner for April because I just love April showers bring May flowers. It's something my mom said all the time when I was a kid growing up on a farm. So definitely planting season and all that. So what I did was I cut out, I had one solid window in the scrap of this sheet of paper. So I, I'm cutting it out. Um, and I'm going to put it up here and then I'm going to use one of these double box stickers from the gardening book because they double box stickers fit perfectly. Um, they're the right width for this one of these sides. So if you're ever looking for a way to cover that up, a little washi tape and a double box sticker for a vertical, classic vertical planner um, will we'll cover that really well. They're a little too short, but they're exactly the right width. So I'm going to what I did was I took that window um, that I had and I was in the process of just folding it open but what I did was I cut I cut the window out so I can place it up here um, and what I did was I cut the frame of the window out um, and then folded it so that it would open so this is going to go up here I didn't cut this side yet because I want it to be exact depending on where I place it then I thought I would take um, this yellow harvest log sticker and put it right here as my to-do box just moved down. Um, so that's going to be the next step. Then I'm going to take this scrap piece with the umbrella and kind of come across here and grab this section of the umbrella. So I'm going to have bo lots of colorful boxes just moved all around, I think. I mean, then I figured I could grab some galoshes and put um, some washi down here with the flowers. So I start out with the rain and kind of transition into gardening. Um, so anyway, the, now that you're all caught up to where I was at, this is going to be my little peekaboo. Um, the only thing I have left to do is to put some kind of something underneath it so that it um, has... Um, the lines are covered up. So I could do something like this, although I don't really care for the way the green, it doesn't show up very much in the spread. I mean, it's right here in the little leaves on the flowers. And you can see here, you just missed me with my, um, my straight edge and my craft knife cutting around the flowers and then bending these back. I'm so bummed that um, you missed that. I just really, all I did, I took my paper trimmer, I cut out the rectangle, um, I cut with my craft knife, I cut across the top of the frame, I cut down the center, and then I used my craft knife to cut around the flowers, and then I just took each half and I folded it right up against the ruler. So now I've got these cute, two cute little doors that'll open. So let's see what, um, what other color options. I have this one. That's a lot of teal, though. Um, it is kind of the more on the gray side. And then I have the back of this one. That, okay, that's the really, really teal one. Maybe we should stick with the gray. The one other thing that came with the kit that I was considering using, and I did this in a spread last year, is this little pad of, um, they're not even post-it notes. There's no sticky on the back, but it's another window. So that actually could fit mostly in there, but I was actually thinking I could use that on the right hand side um, as a box sticker. 
So we'll see, we'll get to that. Anyway, for now, I need to figure out what's going behind here. Um, and I'm leaning right now toward a little piece of this one. I can just take a little corner piece and tape that on the back to fill in that hole. Or I could just do a plain white piece. Maybe I should just do um, a plain white piece of paper because that's a lot of colors I'm getting on there. Okay, so I just have a little, little piece of scrap white paper I'm gonna use. Um, and I'm just gonna go ahead and cover up the back here with this, as, and then I can cut it. Let's see, this is the edge I still need to cut. So if I line it up this along this way. So tape runner, I'm just gonna go, I almost glued the white, but I wanna glue here so that um, I don't accidentally put somewhere there's no hole. So we're just gonna go all the way around my little cutout because I still want those doors to open. Okay, so we'll just cover the hole with this. I'm just gonna kinda make sure it's centered. There we go. All right. So now when I stick this on here, I don't need this cutting mat anymore. Now when I stick this on here, it's just white inside. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and white out the rest of this stuff. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to do, and I'm making sure, yeah, I can just barely see the lines through there, but I don't mind. So let's go ahead and stick this down. Again, I'm just going to put it right up, snug it right up. Grab a piece of paper so I can tape runner right to the edge. I'm going to get one shot at this, so let's make sure I get it right where I want it. So let's get the paper trimmer one more time, trim this edge and punch it. So I'm just gonna trim right against the edge of the paper here. I probably could have used scissors for that easier, but okay, perfect. Get this out of the way. Grab my, I'm just going to use the crocodile hole punch that does the single holes. But that's what we ended up with. Isn't that cute? I can stick a little quote in there. Or I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to put in there yet. Something super secret. <laughs> so next, let's go ahead and stick my double box sticker on there. Right now it says harvest log, but that's just basically, like I said, I use one of these for um, my decorating ideas and the other one as kind of my filming schedule. So I'm just going to keep this right up against this box here so that they're lined up. Okay. Next, oh, I don't think I'm done with my paper trimmer yet because... I want to, let's see. I'm gonna go ahead and put this flower washi. It's with, it's got um, gold foil raindrops kind of running diagonal on it, see those? I wanna go ahead and put that across the bottom here for sure to get to the point where April showers bring May flowers by the bottom. We've gotten through the gardening to the point where we have flowers, so this is going to be a bright spread. So the next thing I have is the umbrellas with the raindrops. So I was thinking I could just kind of cut out this one or this one, but that way I can cover that up if I, if I cut across the top of the umbrella. Yeah, I'm just going to cut out a section and have it be kind of up against Let's just do it. I could use that one, but I really, I kind of don't want the, the teal up against the teal. So this way 
I've got my teal up against yellow. I like that better. The other thing I'm not sure of is, do I cut this even with the box? I don't know. Um, I don't usually put big blocks on like this. I could, I could leave it full length and put habit trackers up against it. Um, the other thing I definitely want is some of these wellies, these galoshes. If I definitely want this pair. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead. Hmm. I haven't completely thought, thought this all the way through yet. Whenever I get stuck, I'm stuck. Like, I don't know what to do with this yet. So I'm stuck. Let's come over here and work on this side. Um, and maybe that'll help me make some decisions. So the wellies are definitely, I'm going to leave these over here too, because I'm not sure what I want to do with those yet. So this, uh, like I said, this little post-it notepad, um, I could put keeping this page handy because I definitely want to look at the color scheme and see what's going to be too much. Let's grab my words. So I, I have a video on printing these um, and I will link it in the cards up above. Uh, so these are just my action words that go with this particular planner. Since I've got this gorgeous color over here that matches, I'm just going to go ahead and put the title on it, which is, this is my posting schedule, what video is posting what day. So we'll go ahead and stick that on. And this is just clear matte sticker paper. There we go. And then over here, um, I usually use for my th one of these for my theme ideas and one of these for my filming schedule. And as long as it's got seven lines, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep, that can be my filming schedule. Um, so let me pull open the kit and we'll see what we can use out of the kit. And that way we'll be sure the colors match. So these are the kinds of things in the kit, the stickers. Um, little banners and whatnot. So I definitely want to get back here to, yeah, I want to pull these post-it notes because I like to use them. Even though there are only six, we can look through here and see if there's another one um, that'll fit. There's the coffee cups. Um, I love the minis. These are too big um, for this week. I want to use maybe some of the date covers and definitely the habit trackers. I could use these swishes to cover up the to-dos that I don't, the words like errands and to buy that I don't want. And then I wanted to see if I could put April showers, bring May flowers in somewhere. So let's, oh, uh, let's see. Let's see if there's a, a kit that has a post-it note that matches this color scheme so I can, ha so I have seven. I think there's a there was a an 80s kit. Not that one. I think this was pre-posted notes. Um, this one might. Oh, here we go. I totally forgot about this, but I don't have I don't have the sheet of stickers that has the um the post-it notes. So there was an 80s kit. Here we go that had some of these colors. Does this one have a post-it note page? I can't remember. It looks like back here. Yeah, I could use one of these yellow ones. That's definitely close enough. Okay, let's do that. So there's my seventh post-it note. Okay, so get this out of the way. All right. So let me go ahead and put my, so my post-it, the post-it notes, I'm going to use these for my um, stat boxes. So, and I want to try to keep them, um, I don't want to put yellow right here. So if I go yellow down here, maybe, and we'll go yellow up here, that puts them nice and far apart. I'll go ahead and stick the screen one on here. I don't need those little numbers. Okay, there are all my post-it notes. 
So I was thinking I could cover up errands with one of these swishes. I, should I use the green habit tracker? I don't know yet. Okay, minis. Minis off to the side. Don't need you yet. Um, let's do a yellow swish on the teal. Um, and I'm going to make that say themes. So in other words, the fact that I decided to do dashboard as um, April showers bring May flowers, that would go in this box. So it's themes and then other miscellaneous to-dos. Okay, and then let's grab the teal swishy. And it's not going to be long enough to cover up harvest log, but that is so hard to see that I'm just not super worried about it. So I'm going to put that right there and we'll do filming. I can just draw in bullet points there. Okay, so I definitely want habit trackers. I'm thinking I want to put, I want to use all but the green one. So one, I need a quote. Oh, you guys, what if um, I could put, I wonder if April showers, bring May flowers would fit inside there. That would be so cute. Or rainy day ideas. That could be cute inside there with the blanket. I don't know. I don't know what's going in there yet. Um, done with that. I don't want the green habit tracker. I want the yellow. So I think I will do my diagonal habit trackers again, or maybe one, two, three. I don't know yet. I need to make some decisions, don't I? Um, I could put minis in there. Ooh, I could put some minis in there. Dancing, <laughs> dancing minis inside there. Um, let's do a coffee cup. I think the green coffee cup, just to bring a little more a subtle hint of green. This is where I wish you guys could talk to me because I just I cannot make up my mind what I want to do about these shoes. Do I want to rip them out? Do I want to put them on here at all? All right, let's go ahead and do what we know. Always defaulting to do what I know. I'm going to go ahead and just keep this. Ooh, what I could do is cut it right along that line, actually. Let's do that. No, because then it won't cover up that white out. Okay, we're going to keep it full length. Do what you know. Because it covers up all the white out everywhere. And I know I want a habit, tra I know my habit trackers are going to go here. Um, and I don't want yellow up against yellow. Let's start with the gray one. I just don't know if I'm doing diagonal or what yet. Um, what if I rip out the wellies and just kind of stick them on here? Nothing else is ripped out. Ugh. I really want these on here. I just can't figure out how. I guess, are there stickers? A few, but they're tiny. Okay, we gotta figure this out. Let's try ripping. And I think I wanna, I wanna rip up so that I have the white edge showing. So if you, I've done some videos before where I tear paper and it makes a difference whether you, so, so tearing up, you get the white edge on what's left. And when you kind of want it to blend into your spread, um, I like to keep the white edge because that helps kind of soften the edge in my opinion. Okay, so there's one pair. So it's like inside the house, out in the rain, aftermath of the rain. Maybe this pair as well. So I've got yellow there. I have my two pairs of yellow wellies here. And then habit tracker, habit tracker, I guess. I don't have a quote anywhere. I could put the quote. April showers, spring, May flowers, kind of here. 
All right, let's go ahead and get this other pair of boots, at least, ripped out. And I'm doing it the wrong way. Oh, you guys. Oh, it's going to be one of those days, isn't it? Was that even on camera? Could you even see? I guess I'll find out when I edit. Just trying to rip more of the edge of this one. Oh, come on. This is tough paper. I'm afraid it's too much. Having all these boots. And I can't I can't get a good enough grip on this paper to rip it. Maybe with some pliers. How bad is it I need a pair of pliers to rip a piece of paper? I hope it worked. That's cute. Okay, okay, let's keep going. Maybe this is what I needed to save myself. I want to keep that puddle. It kind of looks like a hamster was having a go at my desk. There's little scraps of paper everywhere. <laughs> oh, it looks, it just looks so cluttered, you guys. It's too much. It's too cluttered. I have, I have picture, picture. I really want to put these, I want these over here. So that leaves me with putting, let me get my habit tracker back up. Puddle needs to go on the bottom. That's better. I don't know why that's better. Okay, so if I do that, then I can do my habit trackers down here. Okay, that's what we're doing. Otherwise, we'll be here all day. So let's go ahead and stick these down. And tools. I have stuff everywhere. <laughs> okay, puddle down at the bottom. Okay, that's all for that. Now, I need my three habit trackers. I think I need to start at the bottom to make sure I have enough room. So if this one's here, all right, maybe I lied. I need to start at the top. This can go over top. This could go over top like that. There we go. Okay, there's one. At least I'm remembering my habit trackers now. I used to forget them all the time. Three little habit trackers. Getting there. We're getting there. Okay, I need to clean my desk up a little bit because I can't reach anything. Okay, so I, I think I've got so much stuff going on that I definitely do not need to add these into the mix over here. I'm going to just go ahead and use the Happy Planner stencil to draw um, some black circles in on this side to match. And then um, I have an unboxing video that I will link in the cards up above for some new bullet points I got from AliExpress. And I think these are absolutely perfect. It's got the dark teal, the light, medium, the light, these colors all match. It's got um, a gray that kind of matches that gray. So I'm going to also, sorry about that, really loud neighbors. I'm going to use these over here as my five bullet points for each day. So I'm going to speed this up. Um, you guys can skip forward if you want, or you can listen to my music and watch me go super, super, super fast. Um, and I'll be back. So I was just using a, um, a micron pen for that. Um, oh, this is a, an 05. And these are my super pointy tweezers. I will link these in the description box down below. These are actually, I got them off of Amazon. They're actually for applying fake eyelashes, which I have never done. <laughs> um, but they work great for this, so. It's a lot of color. Oof. All right, um, so there are some little lines showing here out from under the box. I can just use some tape runner, or tape runner, um, a white gel pen to cover those up. I was thinking I could maybe stick one of these peekaboo minis right there um, to kind of camouflage those. But there's already, I'm, I'm actually kind of hesitant to add really a whole lot of anything else on here. Um, 
maybe a, a mini or two down in the corner. I need to put something in here. And I don't have a quote anywhere. So I'm thinking April showers bring May flowers. Plus, it's in green, and this is green here. So let's see if that'll fit. If I can get it off of there in one piece. There we go. Oh my gosh, it's perfect. There we go. That's it. That was the finishing touch. I got my quote. It's hidden, but I know it's there. April showers bring May flowers. It's perfect. Okay, so let me put this in. I'll show you how we're going to put this in my planner. I do have to Franken plan it in. So for this page, I don't know what I'm going to do the following week. I don't know if I'm going to want this color or if I'm going to want some other crazy color. So I'm just going to put it in right the way it is. For this side, um, I used pink last week or the current week. Um, and so I need to replace this page with this page. So I turn from my current week spread straight to my next week spread. So to do that, we're going to put tape runner all the way around the edge. I've done this a bunch of times. This is Franken planning. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and go all the way around the edge, even in between the discs. So you can see I don't I don't have an issue with bleed through. Um, I write all over. I use friction pens and I love to match the colors to my spread. But if I did this, um, Franken planning would definitely help cover that up. So I'm just going to line up as best I can right around the punches because that's the most, most important. And let that fall. Press it down. And there we go. Now I have one sheet that is teal on one side, pink on the other side. Let's pop it in my planner. There we go. That is my spread. Oh, I don't have those punches quite right. I'll clean that up later. Um, that is my spread in my social media dashboard planner for the first week, second, first full week in April, the 5th through the 11th. Um, doing a gardening April showers bring May fat flowers theme um, using a planner, pl the Planners Anonymous Rainy Days kit. I hope you like this video. I hope it gets you excited to try some fun little secret garden technique in your planner. If it does, please consider liking and subscribing. Thank you.